guys, we are back in Florence. That's the Ponte Vecchio behind me. We are gonna spend two and a half days here. This is gonna be different from the first video we did for you guys, two and a half days in Florence. This is perfect for those of you who have been to Florence before and it's your second time. We have lots to see and do, so let's get started. Here we go. Okay, we are here next to the Duomo, the Cathedral of Florence, one of the most famous sites to see. We did see that on our last visit by climbing the dome. On this visit, we're gonna see more parts of this complex. Today, we're gonna to visit the Battistero, which is the baptistry. We're gonna climb the Campanile di Giotto, which is Giotto's uh, bell tower. We're gonna to go to Santa Reparata, which is the archeological site underneath the Duomo, and we're going to visit the Museum of the Duomo. This could be a full day, although with this com combination ticket that we bought, which is called the Giotto Pass, we have three days to visit all these sites. On this trip, we're going to try to visit them all today, so let's get started. Well, we are here in the baptistry and it is stunning. I especially love the floor. They are renovating the mosaics on the ceiling and this is gonna take at least six years, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so it turns out to, to visit uh, Santa Reparata, we have to go inside the Duomo. So we are standing in line to get into the cathedral. It's January, so luckily the line is pretty short and I hope it will move quickly. One thing I've noticed about this cathedral is there are candles you can light. I've had a lot of people say to me that they would love to light candles in St. Peter's Basilica, and that's not possible. There are no candles in St. Peter's Basilica that you can light, but here in the Cathedral of Florence, you can light a candle if you want to. So just left the museum, that is an amazing place to visit. You will see the original doors by Gilberti, the ones that you see on the Battistero, on the baptistry in front of the Duomo are replicas. The originals are inside of that museum. There is also an incredible sculpture by Michelangelo, a Pietà. There is some art by Donatello, uh, quite a few things in there. There is a lot to see in this museum. Give yourself a good hour, hour and a half, even two if you're really into it. There's also a whole section where you can learn about how uh, Brunelleschi designed his dome. It's really, really a fantastic museum. So well worth seeing on your second visit to Florence. All right, so we've had lunch. We are back here at the Duomo because we're doing our fourth visit for today, which is gonna to be to climb the Campanile of Giotto. There is a wedding over there and people are so excited. It's very, very cute. The bride and groom are taking pictures with the crowd and everybody's singing. It's very festive. I wanted to show you that here at the Duomo, there is literally no queue at all. Uh, this video is meant to show you Florence the second time. But I'm also here to show you Florence in winter. It's fantastic, look at this. No lines at all. Last stop of the day, climbing the Campanile of Giotto. Campanile means bell tower. We're heading up 414 steps. Let's go. We are up here on top of Giotto's Campanile bell tower and straight in front of us you can see Santa Maria Novella train station off to the right and a little bit to the left of the train station is Santa Maria Novella the church and right in front of us we have San Lorenzo the church of San Lorenzo you can see its unfinished facade down there and if we look straight down from where we are you can see the top of the baptistry the Battistero 
right below us. All right, so we climbed the tower of Giotto and we finished today with all of our Duomo things. And it's now 3.30 in the afternoon and we're just gonna take the rest of the day and do some strolling, little window shopping, maybe some shopping shopping. I always feel like in any of these art cities, Rome, Florence, Venice, don't pack your itinerary so tightly that you don't have any extra time for just enjoying a little bit of a stroll, a little bit of shopping, some downtime. So that's what we're gonna go do. Okay, day two in Florence. We took it a little easy this morning, uh, had a late breakfast, and then we made our way over to Santa Maria Novella. That's easily something you could see on a first visit to Florence if you have time. Definitely don't miss it on a second visit to Florence. It's Obviously, it's the name of the train station, but it is also a wonderful church, uh, which is like a museum of art all by itself. There's Botticelli, there's uh, Michelangelo, and many amazing other artists. So don't miss Santa Maria Novella. And after a nice lunch, we came over here to see the Medici chapels, which is absolutely a must see when you visit Florence. Certainly on a first visit to Florence, you could visit these. Definitely don't miss them on a second visit to Florence. Uh, we are here in the winter, so it was just easy to walk right up, walk in and get a ticket. But in high season, you will need to book because tickets are limited and they do sell out. My number one reason for wanting to see the Medici Chapel, of course, to see the Michelangelo sculptures, but trust me, there is a lot to see in here. Uh, do not miss the Medici Chapel if you get a chance. Okay guys, it is our last day in Florence. We are heading back to Rome this afternoon. We have a few more things to do today. We are heading to Piazza della Signoria. We're gonna be climbing the tower there and visiting Palazzo Vecchio. Let's get started. In this tiny, tiny little cell here in the Torre di Arnolfo in the Palazzo Vecchio. This is where uh, prisoners were held, including Savonarola and the very first Medici, among others. It's teeny tiny. It's uh, pretty sad to think about being kept in this tiny little space. have climbed up the tower up there. <laughs> uh, that's a nice climb. It's not quite as high as the bell tower of Giotto, but it's a pretty good climb. And the views are amazing. It's absolutely worth the climb. You need to be punctual and they give you a certain amount of time to be in the tower and climb it. So uh, make sure you follow the time that you booked. This is called Piazza della Signoria and this is Palazzo Vecchio, which used to be called Palazzo della Signoria. The Signoria was the ruling body of Florence initially. And today it's called Palazzo Vecchio, but it's, it's had other iterations as well. Today it is a museum, and we're gonna go inside and see some amazing things in there. So let's get started. Palazzo Vecchio right behind me is where we've just been inside this incredible museum. Like a lot of things in Florence, you cannot tell from the outside how amazing it is going to be on the inside. Palazzo Vecchio is definitely something to put on your list for your second time in Florence or even your first time. It is just full of amazing art. There's Donatello, Michelangelo, Verrocchio, and of course Vasari. So the David that you see in front of Palazzo Vecchio, that is a replica. Michelangelo's David originally did stand here, but it has of course been moved to the Accademia Museum, which is inside, so safe from the elements. And this is a replica. There is another one that you can see as well, 
in Piazza di Michelangelo. And that is a wrap for two and a half days in Florence. If you liked this video, check out my other video about two and a half days in Florence. Best for your first time visit. See you at the next video. Ciao for now.